Dallas Cowboys misfortune seems to be occurring more and more often as the years go by, and the memories of their 90s dynasty is pushed further into the past. Not that they didn't have some rich blunders during the glory days too. And boy, were some of these blunders bad. So let's take a look at five of the worst debacles in Dallas Cowboys history. Moments that surely had their insufferable fan base in tears. Number five, 2008 collapse. The late 2000s Cowboys were always remembered for many things, but one in particular was their inability to capitalize on their talented roster when it mattered most. You could write a book on all of the blunders that they stumbled into during those days, but one year, 2008 stands alone as one of their most epic choke jobs of all time. Despite entering the last month of the season four games above 500, Dallas lost three of their last four games to finish with a 9-7 record, causing them to miss the postseason for the first time since 2005. And to make matters worse, they got blown out in a brutal fashion in Week 17, losing to the Eagles 44-6 and putting an exclamation point on an awful end to the season. And the Philadelphia Eagles didn't just win. They won. A blowout win at home over Dallas. Number four, Montana to Clark. For every great moment that happens to one team, there is usually a heartbreaking moment that happens to another. And that is exactly what happened to the Cowboys during their famous matchup with the San Francisco 49ers during the 1981 NFC title game. With 58 seconds left and the 49ers facing a pivotal third and three, Niners wide receiver Dwight Clark made a leaping grab in the back of the end zone to complete a six yard touch touchdown pass from Joe Montana, and the 49ers pulled off an epic victory, upending the Cowboys 28-27. Number 3, Romo Fumble. If the Dallas Cowboys are everyone's favorite football team to rag on, Tony Romo was the perfect man to take over at quarterback for them. Though really no fault of his own, Romo quickly found himself on the wrong side of countless jokes during his playing days. It's pretty hard to believe, but fans looked at Romo, a bona fide Pro Bowl caliber quarterback, as a walking punchline, and were always waiting for him to implode. Undoubtedly, the worst of the lot was early on, before he became the Tony Romo we know today. After taking over for Drew Bledsoe in the middle of the 2006 season, Romo miraculously led the Cowboys on a 5-1 run and route to earning a wild card spot in the playoffs. Because Romo had started the season as the backup, he was still holding kicks, something no one thought twice about until their opening playoff matchup when he botched the snap on a go-ahead field goal during the final two minutes. Then, when he tried to recover the loose ball and run it to the end zone, he was tackled just short of the goal line, resulting in a heartbreaking 21-20 loss to Seattle. Number two, Des Catch. Ah yes, the infamous Des Catch. Every Cowboys fan's favorite moment to point to when they futilely tried and argue that the world is against them. Yes, we're looking at you, Skip Bayless. Trailing by five and facing a fourth and two late in the fourth quarter of the 2014 NFC game against the Packers, Romo heaved one downfield to Des Bryant, who laid out and made what looked to be an incredible catch at the one yard line. Dallas suddenly looked to be in a great position to steal the game. But shockingly, the call ended up being overturned, and the Cowboys went on to lose the contest. Considering the play is still talked about today ad nauseum, it is easily one of the most devastating moments for any Cowboys fan out there. Number 1. Super Bowl XIII the early Dallas Cowboys teams were one of the first great NFL dynasties, and Super Bowl XIII established them as the first team to appear in five different Super Bowls. Heading into the game, a lot of folks around the league were shocked that the Cowboys were underdogs. After all, Dallas had led the league in scoring during the regular season and finished second in total yards. Not to mention, they were the defending champs and still had quarterback Roger Staubach, who was the best quarterback in the league that year, throwing for 3,190 yards and 25 touchdowns. With the Cowboys trailing the Pittsburgh Steelers 21-14 in the third quarter, Dallas tight end Jackie Smith found himself all alone in the end zone, and Staubach delivered a pass right in the breadbasket. But Smith dropped it. Dallas at the Pittsburgh 10. Roger back to throw, has a man open in the end zone, caught! Touchdown, drop! 
Jackie Smith. in the end zone. Jackie Smith all by himself. And the Cowboys went on to lose by four points, with many people in the media pointing to Smith's drop as the difference maker. Oh, bless his heart. He's got to be the sickest man in America. Which do you think is the saddest moment in Cowboys history? Join us in that comment section below. If you like this video and learned a thing or two, clicking the like button helps out a ton. And hey, we appreciate it. If this is your first time coming around to TPS, though, subscribing is a great idea because we put out videos like this every single day. But as always, thank you for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.